Mammograms are usually used to detect breast cancer, but now they're being used in a new way to identify women who are at risk for heart disease. Circle of Health reporter Denise Dador explains and has more from the experts. No signs of cancer on her routine mammogram is always great news for Katherine Borman, but her last one told her something new. Doctors reported finding these white lines and spots on her breast x-rays, potential red flags for her heart. I would have never thought to go to a cardiologist because I always felt healthy. Research shows breast arterial calcification, or BAC, is found in about 12 to 23 percent of mammograms. A recent study found these tiny calcifications in the breast arteries are associated with a 51 percent increased risk of heart attack and stroke. Every radiologist sees breast arterial calcification. It's very obvious but there are no guidelines about including it in your report. Right now, reporting BAC on mammograms is not the standard of care, but doctors at Northwell Health's Katz Institute in New York are trying to change that. They launched a new initiative that requires every mammogram to report signs of BAC, and if a woman has these calcifications, she's advised to speak to her doctor about her heart disease risk. If you have that finding, we would work with our patients to uh, modify risk factors, lower blood pressure, lower cholesterol, and those things prevent heart disease, stroke, and also cancer. After doctors told Catherine her results, she went to a cardiologist. One of her heart arteries was severely blocked. She got a stent to improve blood flow to her heart. If they didn't look for it in me, who knows if I'd be sitting here now. Right. Mammogram saved my life. While more women worry about breast cancer than heart disease, doctors say heart disease is the leading cause of death for women. And it's important to note that just because you don't have BAC on your mammogram, it doesn't mean that you're at low risk for heart disease. In the newsroom, Denise Dador, ABC7 Eyewitness News.